So let's discuss the shareholding of Nathan Crew in Just Navara Limited. We've discussed Guardian Limited at length in a few previous videos. Uh, this is just one big video. So we're just discussing Nathan Crew here. Oh, that line is terrible. So identify the effect that the repurchase of Nathan's shares had on his percentage shareholding. So this discussion here of the repurchase of shares. So Nathan convinced the other directors of Navara Limited that the company should repurchase 300,000 of his shares for 3,450,000 on the 1st of September 2022. And note that interim dividends were paid on the 31st of August 2022. So he convinced them. So what was the price per share? Well, that's 3,450,000 divided by 300,000. That is how much just one of his shares cost. And we're going to get to the calculations in a second. So the effect that the repurchase had, well, the percentage shareholding dropped considerably from 55.2% to 40%. It dropped by, well, 15%. And unfortunately, he is no longer the majority shareholder. So, well, he doesn't have the majority of the power in the business now. So for all those important votes that happen at the AGM, the annual general meeting. Next, explain how the company was able to raise approximately 4.4 million to finance the repurchase of shares and the dividends earned by the shareholders. I'll provide two points specifically. So the first point, the loan increased drastically by literally 3.5 million. We went from 3 million to 6.5 million. 3 million 500,000 loan increase and the bank balance it moved from, well, favorable, 380,000. So yeah, that's good. We've got money versus an overdraft. And while we pay interest on overdraft, which is not all that great. So bank moved to an overdraft uh, of 3,200,000. And there's a big change here of 3,580,000. We went from positive to negative. So things aren't looking all that great. Give two reasons why the decision to repurchase Nathan's shares should be considered as irresponsible. Two reasons. So the repurchase price, which actually worked out to 11 Rand 50 cents is very high. And well, that calculation was actually given. That figure was given. While the market price dropped over the year to 400 cents. So that's 11 Rand 50 versus 4 Rand. Okay, look, that's in rands, that's in cents. We need to level the playing field. So 400 cents is 4 Rand. So our repurchase price is way higher than the market price. That is so, so bad, so silly. Why would you do that? It does not comply with law of funding of repurchase shares. It's it's contravention of the Companies Act. Your per, your repurchase price is more than that of the market price. So Nathan, although he lost majority shareholding, he earned a boatload of money, three million, and they purchased that at a price which was way too high. And the company did not comply with solvency and liquidity testing. Solvency, total assets, is to total liabilities, liquidity, all your short term ratios, and they've compromised their liquidity. Their profitability has declined as a result and well the buyback was just totally totally unaffordable as we've discussed and he's misused his majority status to gain from the share repurchased and well he's contributed to the decline of this company so the repurchase price was just too high just way too high and it's just not compliant with the companies act it just it's irresponsible completely irresponsible and he has misused his position here yeah not the best decision here but well he he convinced the other directors he's in a position of power and he lined his own pockets at the expense of the entire company that's a very south african thing to do hashtag just saying